The big platforms that are developed overseas are specifically developed for infrastructure overseas. But when it, we try and replicate that into the islands, it usually never works because we don't have the infrastructure, the technical infrastructure. So the platform that we've created is trying to solve many different problems. One of them is access to market. Women in the rural areas, as well as people living with disability, have a lot of issues trying to access um, uh, the markets in the urban areas. And also when you get to the market, you know, you have to pay some fees. And if you don't sell your products all within the same day, you make a loss. When we first uh, launched, naturally there was some resistance. It's the first of, of its kind in Samoa, a complete end-to-end e-commerce platform where the vendor has complete control of their store, where they have this mobile money, it's new, where they're not used to selling regularly, they're used to physically sitting in a market. So a lot of it was behavior and getting their buy-in. There was a bit of education with the farmers and working with them to make their products marketable or value adding. We work with them with all these things to kind of upscale because when you put a product online you want it to be presented a, a certain way, you'd like it to be available all the time. So we worked with them to have different setups. It's very important to work with the whole ecosystem to make sure that everyone is benefiting. So we work with individual farmers, um, farmer uh, groups, um, NGOs, youth groups, commercial operators, as well as the mobile providers. So mobile money is very um, part, a big part of that ecosystem. Every farmer that's on the platform now has a global reach of their products. Um, we have over 700,000 Samoans living overseas that have much better disposable income that can now directly support our local people. With youth um, being very comfortable with digital tools, they can also help their families, you know, bring the family farm online, you know, the, sell it overseas, get money from overseas. It's, it's something else that, that can be used to promote um, youth going into farming because if we do want um, agriculture to increase, it'll have to be marketed towards um, the youth if we want it to continue. It's one of the biggest goals right now is to expand our economy and make sure that yeah, um, our local grassroots are part of the digital economy and benefit from all the global sales.